Today I'll be showing you how to make a paper mache turtle. To start, you'll need a sheet of cardboard, scissors and a box cutter, masking tape, a few pages of newspaper cut into strips, paper mache paste, brushes, and acrylic paint. You'll be using both your box cutter and your scissors for cutting up your cardboard. A quick safety tip. When using the box cutter, be sure to never pull the blade towards your body. Cut in any other direction. You can use deep cuts to pull apart the cardboard, like so. If you make shallow cuts in the cardboard, you can create folds that keep the cardboard connected. I demonstrate here with a pre-cut piece. Cutting towards your body is still a no-go. Any smaller shape should be cut with the scissors, as they allow for more precise lines. By folding your cardboard by hand, you can create rounder, solider shapes. Cardboard is very pliable and can be used to make just about anything. Once you have all your individual cardboard pieces cut out, you'll start taping them together. Make sure not to leave a lot of gaps so the paper mache has a solid surface to sit on top of. Once all your shapes have been taped together, we'll be starting the first round of paper mache. There are a few different recipes for paper mache paste, but today I'll be using this clear paper mache gel. Applying with a brush, you'll want to use enough gel to fully cover the cardboard and soak the newspaper, but too much will make your cardboard get soggy. For flat cardboard pieces, you'll want to use a piece of newspaper bigger than your piece of cardboard, and then you'll fold the edges onto the other side. For rounder pieces, you'll do pretty much the same thing. Just fold the newspaper anywhere you need to to create nice newspaper coverage. Smaller pieces should be paper mache on their own for a nicer looking piece. Once all your pieces are covered, it's time for more tape. Start assembling your piece, once again making sure not to leave any gaps. It's starting to look like a turtle. With your basic form nice and put together, it's time for even more paper mache. This time, you'll be working to make your turtle look as smooth and nice looking as you can. Do as many layers of paper mache that you think you'll need, but let your turtle dry out between layers. Once your piece is completely dry, you're going to start painting. A layer of green will make this turtle look nice and turtly. Feel free to add details with a smaller brush, whatever you feel like adding. And after some more time drying, you'll have your very own paper mache turtle. <laughs> 